Good morning everybody and this is your S&P 500 day trade setup for today. So uh, we have finally broken through to new highs um, that happened at the close. It wasn't looking very promising towards the end of the day when I uh, packed up. But um, one thing to notice is uh, we are in a pretty big trading range and the, the bottom of this trading range is uh, here at 36.87 and the top is obviously right here at 38.72. So we've got a I won't call it a daily close, it's, it's pretty much just closed on the previous highs, we'll get down to the lower time frames now. But uh, one of two things, uh, we're either going to continue a little bit, come back, test it and then continue up. And remember we've got a few measured moves, we've got 4000 as a bigger measure move from this trading range that we had here, this massive one here. So that measured move is still on the cards. And now we have another one, which basically is right over here. But anyway, it, um, it does look a little bit uh, overbought at the moment, but uh, remember, it can stay overbought for a long period of time. So let's just have a look at what's, tr what's transpiring. So uh, quick summary. So we've had, this week we've had a very strong rally. We've had a bit of consolidation over the last two days, and then uh, we pretty much rallied into well most of yesterday and did we close above the high we'll have to look at that on the hour we could have but it's it's so small I would expect a bit of a pullback so one thing to bear in mind at the moment that's our flag and price action is is critical here so when you have a strong move up you normally have a second move up so there was a consolidation and he has a second move and the other thing to bear in mind is that the, normally the second move is the equivalent of the first move, which takes us bang on to uh, 39.86. The next thing to bear in mind is that we do have this double bottom. And let's just be a little bit conservative here. There we go. So there's the bottom, bottom, there's a neckline. Put a level in on that. Uh, we, the consolidation was pretty much on the left line, um, classic price action pattern that, and um, the measured move is just below the other measured move. So there, and then obviously the last one is this trading range. So if we do that, and we take us up, that should take us to the four thousand area. Probably just a little bit over four thousand and fifty. So that kind of um, the structure that's formed, which is quite interesting and uh, quite exciting, because now we have um, we have upside targets. Remember, when we when we're making higher highs all the time, it's very difficult to to look to the left and, and find structure. So now you've got to focus on your measured moves, and your measured moves are pretty much what's going to drive the market at the moment. Okay, so did we get a close above? I suppose we could argue we've got a little bit of a close. The last two bars were above both previous highs. So I would expect some kind of pullback onto the structure. Uh, this, these highs would need to be tested. So it could, I mean, it is possible that we just uh, shoot past today. We do have the jobs number coming out today. And then obviously they're still debating the, um, the stimulus package. So we've got noise and we've got politicians um, dancing around so anything can happen at the moment uh, all of these games could be wiped out in the blink of an eye based on a bad number so the volatility is still here i don't think it's uh, it's gone but uh, although yesterday was first time in a long time that we had some just steady uh, steady price action and like it used to be many years ago but uh, for me at the moment i do want to see what happens here at 38.69 and 3872. Uh, the DAX also closed above 1400. We'll get to that video now, but that is significant because it does indicate that from the European perspective, uh, things may be looking a bit, little bit up at the moment. So yeah, so that's me at the moment. Uh, definitely going to be 15 minute type uh, trading for, for me today. And you can see there are just wedges, consolidation areas everywhere. So there's one there. There's another one there. So you can see up, 
consolidate up, consolidate up, consolidate up, consolidate. That's pretty much what you're looking for today. Okay, so yeah, retest and hold the line at uh, 38.72 or even 38.69. Opportunity to buy into this, but at the same time, if I just come back on the hour, there's no real structure. The next bit of structure is all the way down here on this little range break here. And that is 38.48. Oh, that is also a possibility. Don't get too too hung up on these levels. So those levels are also possible. Uh, the point is the trend is up. So whatever whatever position you're going to take, you've got two choices. You can have much wider stop losses, uh, smaller positions, or uh, pretty tight stop losses. And then if you if that stop loss gets broken, then just uh, wait for the next level. 15 minute will offer you some levels as well. So if I move this one up here, you can see there's a pretty strong level. So this was kind of where I got out last night and uh, it was looking like it was going to pull back and I would have been looking for an entry further down. But uh, lo and behold, you can see we bolted up going into the close. Anyway, that's kind of what I'm looking for. One of these three levels, I think, on the 15 minutes is definitely on the cards. Uh, 38.65, uh, 38.69 and 38.72. And just bear in mind the drops number yesterday was pretty good. Um, I think it's second second or third week in a row that uh, the drops number has improved. So it will be interesting to see non-farm payrolls uh, to see if that improves. Because if that does improve, then all indications are that uh, they, the USA may be at a turning point. Um, so obviously we're just gonna rally a little bit harder. <laughs> Anyway, guys, that's it for me today. I hope it helps. And uh, whatever you do today, just be careful with uh, non farm payrolls, okay? Uh, keep those stops really tight. And uh, we'll catch up with you bright and breezy Monday morning. Uh, cheers for now.